you just got your TBS Tango 2, you're new to FPV and you want to get this set up as quick as possible, then this video is for you. I've taken the knowledge that I've gained from other videos and I wanted to make a new updated version of this video to help you get flying quicker because this can be overwhelming when you first take it out of the box and you're looking at all those menu systems and how to bind it and what to do. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do is update the firmware on our TBS Tango 2 here. On your computer, we want to go open up a browser. All you want to do is in Google, just type in TBS Agent Lite. Then we want to click on the first link here that comes up and then it should be, here it is. We want to download TBS Agent Lite. So just pick the appropriate one for your computer. Now I've already downloaded this, so we don't have to worry about this now. And I'm going to open up TBS Agent Lite. So we're in USB-C mode here. There is Wi-Fi Wi-Fi mode as well, you can connect by Wi-Fi. You may not get this screen straight away. You may need to create an account with Team Blacksheet for this to work or just log in if you already have an account. Now the next step is you wanna get a cable that's appropriate to transfer data as well as power. Normally the first hurdle people get with connecting their TBS Tango is that you're using the wrong cable. So this is the one for my DJI goggles. I'm gonna use this and we're gonna connect TBS Tango to update the firmware now. Make sure your TBS Tango 2 is on. So you should get a pop-up as well, ask giving you these four options. Click on the agent or USB charging. It says here in the corner, USB-C mode. So I'm just gonna click that. Okay. and you can see we have a green icon here saying it's online and all we have to do is click on the Tango 2 on the second one here and then on the bottom right hand side it says firmware and as you can see we are already on the current firmware version yours may not be so you just need to download and update the firmware here so it's pretty straightforward just follow the instructions I haven't had a single problem when updating mine here now that your Tango 2 is updated the next step is to bind the quad so I can't exit out this we won't be needing this again and I can unplug the Tango 2 controller. Now with the Gepar C Synalog 25 here to get access to the receiver which I know is just here it, you may not be able to see it because it's kind of dark um, so all you have to do is just unscrew these four outer holes to get access to it just so you can see the that's where the cross wire receiver is so it's just the way the drone is packaged. Okay, so I'm now just going to remove this bottom plate here and this is our Nano RX receiver. So the next step here is we want to update the firmware on our RX receiver here. Now you don't want to plug into the Cadex Vista unit here which is USB-C, that is totally different, we don't want that. On this side here is the USB slot access the quad when you want to make adjustments so make sure it's the right way so now i want to plug the drone in okay and as you can see this is our nano rx i want to hit the bind button here so the bind button is just located here next to the led light you should hear a click mine's a little bit that difficult to access because of the shrink wrap there you go so now it is in bind mode now we want to go to the tbs tango 2 welcome to tango 2 so now to bind the quad we want to simply hold down the menu button here, hold it down, and then you want to go to TBS Agent Lite, and you want to click on the Tango 2, and then you will see the bind button there. You just want to click on the scroll wheel now to the bind. It says binding, yep, and it's bound, and you can see here binding OK. and then just click exit to go back to the main menu. That is your quad bound. Okay, so I've just put the quad back together and it's plugged into the computer as we're gonna need this in a bit. So this is your Tango 2. Obviously that is your throttle, that is your rudder, that is your elevator, and that is your roll here. And then you've got uh, the exit menu and page button, USB and audio with the power button. I have taped over the LED temporarily just so it doesn't show in the camera because it was given an ugly spot around here. And obviously your antenna swivels only in one direction here and then it folds for when you are traveling. This is a really cool feature. This is the pro version. So if you have this, you're lucky enough where you can raise the gimbals fold them for traveling so it's more compact and you're not unlikely to damage them and then you obviously got two switches here a and then b or d on this side you've got b and c rocker switches and then you on the back here you got uh, switches here as well now the first thing you want to do it might not say to you eve cine 25 that's my model name so you might just see model 101 so the first thing you want to do is when you hit the menu button 
single press it, you have 11 pages. Now this is where you can name your model like I have where it says Eve Cine 25. Obviously Eve is the name of the quad and Cine 25 for Cinelog 25. You can name your quad whatever you wish, but that's what that does. The rest of these functions are timers. If you scroll the scroll wheel, I haven't really adjusted anything here. So to get flying, you won't need to worry about this page. Page two is flight modes. Again, we won't need this, it's more for airplanes. Now, the inputs is all the inputs for your controls. I have roll, which is your ailerons, pitch, which is, your, which is for elevation. So your pitch is this. Then you have throttle and then rudder. Now, this is how I've set mine up. And then obviously on these ones, I have the buttons set up. So on input five is my arm switch, which is this. You can see SA. Then your mode, which is SB. Beeper, which is SC. So you can see here, switch C, that's what this S stands for. And then four, uh, I know it says AUX4, I can rename it to say flip over crash. And then SE and S5, obviously these are your SE and S4 switches. So I've already, S4 doesn't really do anything. SE, I have mapped to say my battery voltage. To be able to change your inputs, all you do is you hold down the scroll wheel and then click edit. And obviously the first is just a name. So obviously you, you can change the name of this. So if you click on it once, you then use the scroll wheel to select the letter. To go for a lowercase, hold down the scroll wheel. And same with capital, if you wanna to go to capital case, hold down the scroll wheel, and then just keep pressing enter until you get the desired name. It can only be three characters long. To change the source, just scroll down, and again, hit the scroll wheel. Now, this is ailerons, but as you can, if I just move this, you can see it changes the throttle. If I change this, it changes to rudder, but I want roll, which is this left and right on the right-hand side. Once your desired source has been selected, just hit the scroll wheel to confirm. You don't need to change any other settings here, and then click exit and exit again. And then simply do that for all of your inputs. So obviously you wanna do roll, pitch, throttle, and yaw, and then your arm, your modes, your beeper, and then if you want flip over as crash, normally people put with the beeper, or that's normally the default with your bind and fly. I change mine to D, and then if you're gonna use these buttons, you can put those inputs in as well. Okay, next page is your mixes. Now you wanna make sure these match whatever's on beta flight. I know when I first plugged in my quad, it was confused. Throttle was this side, and then this side was another in, uh, input. So you have to cross, figure this with beta flight which i will show you in a bit but as you can see again this is how i've labeled mine up so channel one is my row two is my pitch three is my throttle four is my yaw and if we scroll down you can see my arm is set to sa on channel five channel six is my mode channel seven is my beeper channel eight is my flip over crash and then channel nine is se and channel 10 is SF. So even though some of these channels not, might not be necessary, they're mapped ready to be used and I can customize them later. Now I will show you beta flight to show you how I've managed to figure my channels out. Okay, so we are now in beta flight. I'm going to assume you've already downloaded this and you have set up your quad for beta flight. However, if you don't know or you haven't downloaded this yet, I will link in the description box down below Joshua Bardwell's videos. He helped me set mine up and to get my quad flying. This video is specifically to get the Tango 2 set up for you. So in this part of the video, we're looking at the, the mixes channel and getting these set in the correct order. If your drone isn't set in the correct order, these will be all over the place. Now a hint here will be the channel map. As you can see, AETR, ailerons are channel one, elevator is channel two, throttle is three, rudder is four. And as we can see here, this matches here as well. Channel one, was roll, so if I move this, you can see the bar move correctly. Channel two is elevators, so you can see the channel move. Channel three was throttle, and then four was rudder. And as you can see, every time I move a switch as well, you can see everything is mapped correctly. So that's what the input page does on page four. And I, I've labeled it AUX4, AUX5, AUX6. So I know that when I press SF, AUX6 moves. When I press SE, uh, AUX5 moves. And it's the same with the rocker switches. Uh, and that is set up there. Again, you might want to look at Joshua Bardwell's videos to get your mode set up. 
here, but this is what mine currently looks like. Okay, let's continue with the setup. So page five, you will not need, and this is your output. Page six, you do not need. Now, page seven is the logical switches. Here is where I've set information for my batteries and my uh, link quality call out. So you can pause the video if you wish and copy these. And I'm just gonna tell you, explain to you what each of these do. Logical switch one is basically my low battery call out and this only works when I am armed. So when this is depressed. Logical switch two is a critical battery warning and it's again only works when switch is depressed or armed. And then three, four and five are all four call outs for when your link quality gets low on your TBS Crossfire. Now to be able to edit these, all you have to do is you click enter, click edit, when I say enter, click the scroll wheel, click edit, and then you wanna copy these settings. So A is less X, then you want your function RX BX. And then for V2, for the low battery setting, set it to whatever your battery you're using. So in my case, I'm using a 4S battery. I want a low battery call out of 14 volts. And again, the AND function is to say, only do it when you're in armed position, or in this case, A, S8 is, is depressed and you wanna put a delay in of one second. So when you do do a punch out and you're trying to get out of a situation, it's not gonna give you a low battery warning. Click exit once you're finished. And it's the same for the critical battery. But this time V2 will be whatever level you set your critical battery warning at. And again, a delay of one second. If I go to logical switch three, it's pretty straightforward, not much information here. Logical switch four, A is less than X, RQLY, V2 is 80% lit quality, and you wanna put the AND switch to L3, so that ties in with the logical switch three, put in a delay of half a second, and with logical switch five, same again, but this time for 70%, and delay of half a second. And then we click exit. So those are your logical switches set up. Now if we go to page eight, of your Tango 2, these are your special functions. Essentially, these are setting up all the callouts for the TBS Tango 2 and even haptic feeder back as well. So if you want, you can pause the screen and this is what your high I've set mine up. You can wish to copy mine. And what I will do is I will put a link in the description box down below for the sound of pack that I've created and I'll even include the Top Gun one, which I'll use this to set up later to have these uh, call outs for your Tango 2. They're free, I'm not charging them for anyone, so feel free to use them. Uh, I'll just appreciate if you give this video a like and just tag people who you think might be interested in this, whether it's setting up the radio or for the sound pack. Okay, so I'll explain here what's going on. So the first one here is basically play track when the quad is disarmed. So obviously in this position it will play it will play disarm. The second one again is for when sound is played when the quad is armed. And I also want haptic feedback when the quad is armed. Now SB is your rocker switch. The middle switch, say angle mode, when the switch is in up position, it's in acro. And in the down position, it's in horizon mode. SE is my battery voltage call out. So obviously this button here, if I press it, it will give me my quads call out. And then logical switch one is play, play a sound when the battery voltage is low. And I know this work because I've tested it. You'll see it in my first video. I'll tag that video here. And the same for battery critical. When your battery's at a critical level at the voltage you set, it will call out battery voltage critical. I also get haptic feedback as well with the controller when the battery is at a critical level, as you can see here's linked with two. Essentially to set these, all you have to do is click on it, press it again, and then you can see it change. If I press SF, it changes. There you go. And that's what I want. Click enter once you've got it and just use the scroll wheel to go through the command. So you wanna click this and select. You can see all these different options here, but you want here play track. And if I go here to the sounds, I just wanna scroll to find disarm. There we go. So now if I click on, the, if I depress this and then let go of it, there you go, that all works. And obviously with the rocker switch, I'm gonna press, I'm gonna to go to horizon mode by pressing it down. Horizon mode. And then to angle mode. Angle mode. And then to acro mode. mode. There we go. And obviously the beep, I don't really need to have, uh, to have a function, but you can if you wish. And for flip over crash, I don't really have either. But that is essentially it. 
And then for the Top Gun sound effects, if I go down, you could be my wingman. So it'll be W for wing. There's wingman, and then acro mode. We're gonna click dangerous, and then horizon mode. I, I think it's called goose. There it is. So now, if I go to angle mode, it should say, you could be my wingman anytime. Horizon mode is talk to me goose. Talk to me, goose. And then acro mode would be I like to I am dangerous. I am dangerous. There was another one actually which is better. What's the one I had originally? Oh speed. That was that's what it was. There we go, speed. So now if I go to acro mode, it would say I like the need for speed. There you go, those are Top Gun sound effects. So those are in the link in the description box down below. Now if we continue, page nine, we don't need to worry about. Uh, 10 is your telemetry. I think I left mine at default, but I'll just scroll down here so you can see. I didn't really change anything here. And then page 11, didn't need anything. Now if we hold the menu button down and then we click on TBS Agent Light here, white loads, click on the first one, Tango 2XF. And if we scroll down to radio settings, this is where you can set whether your region's open, your frequency and max power milliwatt as well. That's something that you, else you might want to do. Okay, last thing to do here is grab a LiPo and plug it in. Make sure your stick is all the way up. You don't want to have the quad flying all over the place. Now, if you hold down the menu button and then we go to TBS Agent Lights, there we go. Nano RX appears. We can go into Nano RX. So, if we go into General, here is where if you don't have enough channels on your quad, this is where you can change it. So, obviously, you've got eight channels or 12 channels. I put mine on 12 channels so I can add these buttons here. You want your telemetry on RF profile dynamic and these are the other settings that you want set here and then just click exit and that should be your controller setup if you found this video informative remember to give this video a like as it does help with the youtube algorithm and if you know someone looking to start fpv remember to share this video with them let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below and let me know what quads you're looking to fly thanks for watching and subscribe for future fpv content and see you in the next one